Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy with Van On Company. It's Friday, October 11th. I'm going to go over the markets for the day and week with you. What a turn in a day that we saw. So you got core market to rally back, cover all of yesterday's losses plus some. To be honest, there wasn't really a hard reason why corn was rallying. It was kind of unknown when you look at the market. You did have rumors out that there is a partial deal that will be done between the U.S. and China. There's very limited data on what is out there, what they're talking about. It sounds like more U.S. agricultural products from China, less currency manipulation and possibly pushing back or releasing some of the tariffs the U.S. has on it. They're meeting here this afternoon between President Trump and top officials in the White House, and you would imagine that we get some sort of clarification this afternoon of it. But as of now, you have very limited data, but it's enough to push these markets higher. Now, if this was all about a partial deal being done, you would have seen hogs and soybeans lead the way higher, not corn, and corn was the one that led the way higher. So it could be just the corn market waking up to the current conditions we have out there. It's very wet in a lot of areas. Yields that are coming in for the Far Eastern Corn Belt are not as great as expected. And you also have a forecast that continues to be wet and that's gonna cause some problems in draw, drawn out harvest here. So uh, corn finally waking up to it, up 17 half cents on the day, up 13 cents on the week. Soybeans up 12 and a half cents today, finishing off a very strong week, up 19 and three quarters on the week. So you got that good friendly USDA crop report, have the partial deal rumors out there as well. You also had come out that Brazil soybean planting is 9.5% uh, this year so far versus is last year at 21.1%. So they are quite a bit behind pace and they continue to be dry on the forecast. Wheat markets all strong as well. Chicago wheat up 15 today, putting it up 17 and a half on the week. Minneapolis up 12 and three quarters today, up 12 cents on the week. And Chicago or Kansas City wheat up 16 and a quarter, up 15 and a half on the week. Overall, just finishing off the grain markets with a very strong trade coming into the weekend until we get some more cl uh, clarification on partial trade deal. But it was nice to finish off this week. We were very close to some important price counts for corn 403 December and 952 on November futures when you look at those two as far as price counts. Meat markets all positive here this week as well, but not as much as when you look at the grain markets. Live cattle up 72 cents today. Um, on the week, just over two bucks higher. Feeder cattle anywhere from 12 and a half cents lower to 12 and a half cents higher uh, and up over two bucks as well on the week. Lean hogs, so kind of the disappointing one, up just over a buck for December hogs and on a weekly chart, only up 52 and a half cents. They should have caught a little bit more of a bid when you look at the structure here with the potential of a partial trade deal and the fact that China bought its largest purchase ever of US pork. That should have been a little bit more friendly, but futures being held back a little bit on some technical resistance points. Moving forward, what we're gonna watch, see what managed money does and then wait to see what comes out of the White House on any talk of partial deals. I do have to close with a disclaimer, trading futures and option involves risk loss and is not suitable for all producers. This is a solicitation. Have a great day.